Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to Skyward Sword. I have to get used to saying Skyward Sword instead of uh, Super Mario. Um, you have bubbles again? What? What now? You're still working on the gate. Well, good for you. Uh, where is Zelda? Even though we already know where she is, she's behind us up the stairs. Um, it's time you learn for yourself, kid. Um, okay, well, I, I am learning for myself. I just learned that you're a giant douche. Good lord. Okay, fine. We will go up here and we will meet Zelda. Because that's what we were supposed to do in this episode. She was told us... She, she told us not to keep her waiting. Or else. <clears throat> we did not want to feel her wrath. Zelda, we are here. We, we have arrived. And, and ple please don't hurt me. Please. I'm, I'm very vulnerable right now. Apparently, uh, Zelda can play the harp. That is that is a thing. Look at Link's face, good lord. Although, you know how it is, guys, when your woman wakes you up, when you're trying to sleep in, and you're all cranky. But then, you know, you see her like this, standing in the sunlight, and, and your heart just melts, because she looks like an angel. I, I'm sorry to say that I, I, I used to consider myself a very romantic guy before um, the women of this world uh, turned me into the bitter, resentful, jaded creature you now see before you. It's kind of sad, actually. Um, <laughs> yes, you, you have a harp. And, and you have a new outfit. Yeah, so then you're feeling all like, your, your heart's all fluttery, but then you realize that the reason why she woke you up is because she wants to show you, show you her new outfit. And then you just feel that anger building back up again. <clears throat> yes, you've got new clothes. That's, that's great, honey. Um, uh, you're going to play the goddess today. Wonderful. Yeah, but you got me up early to show me your clothes. That's terrific. Um, nice costume? I can't do it. I can't. I can't do that. <sighs> Maybe there is a little bit left in me, after all. You look great. If it'll... Oh, stop. Ooh. Shut up, Steve. Oh! Oh, oh, it's Zelda's father. Oh, great. We just got cock-blocked by Zelda's father. Wonderful. Which is the worst way, you know, to be cock-blocked by, by the girl's father. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That, that's just all kinds of awkward. Um, I will get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. Oh my. He kind of had a creepy look on his face when he said that, too. Um, oh, ouch. Zelda does not know if we can do it, because we have not been practicing. Um, even when he is out riding, he's just lazily... I'm right here! Why are you looking right at me? Why are you talking about me like I'm not here? That's incredibly mm -hmm. rude. Um, though you may have a point. Ugh, you have no point. Hmm. Emphasis on wing ceremony, again, of course. As you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing, but you've known him since you're... I, I, I'm right here! I am right here! Why do you continue to talk about... Oh my god. You two are terrible human beings. You are atrocious human beings. Um... So he, he's telling us about the, you know, <clears throat> the whole thing about the the loft wings. And it's very, um, kind of Avatar. I only saw Avatar once, but that's kind of what it sounds like, where um, a, a bird chooses the person um, at some, like, ritual. I don't know. But anyway, there's a bond between the bird and the rider, basically. And um, apparently my meeting with my bird was very special. <laughs> the boy. You're still doing it. You are still talking about me like I'm not here. The little boy. Stop calling me a boy. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. Ugh. Judging how jealous you were that day. Ugh. She's jealous of a bird? Oh, how typical. There's a typical woman for you right there. <laughs> jealous of the guy's pet. Good lord. Um, Link, what, what, what's wrong? What are you looking at? <laughs> I'm sure you weren't the only one envious. Anyone who's part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <sighs> really? That that's your <laughs> Um 
apparently I'm going to become a knight if I win this race. So they're just going to keep talking about me while I'm over here. I'm just, I'm just going to stand over here, okay? You just, <laughs> I'll be over here. Whenever you're done talking about me behind my back, or in front of my face, just let me know. It's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. You, well, you see, Father, there's this thing called love. Um, maybe you've heard of it in your travels throughout life. Um, j just saying, maybe. Um, oh, and she's going to make us practice. Okay, wonderful. <clears throat> we are being forced to do something. Oh, God, stop, Steve, stop. Uh, jump off the edge and call your loft wing. So I need to practice seriously. Um, I cannot sense my bird. Okay, well, that's a problem. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to fool you. I'm... Oh, oh, dear God! Okay, she has just shoved me off a ledge. Okay, well, well, there's that. That just happened. Um, and my bird is not coming. Okay, well, um, it's all over. Uh, I've, I've lived a full life, I guess. Um, I guess I regret nothing. And um, I'm ready to meet my maker. Okay. While they stand and watch. Oh, something. Do you think something's wrong? Good lord. So Zelda's gonna swoop down with her bird and save me, even though she's the one who is responsible for the situation in the first place. Where also where's that waterfall falling to? <clears throat> is there like a, just a huge river of water collecting down below on the surface? Or does it just like stop at the cloud barrier? The clouds soak it up. Ooh. Am I alright? No, I just got shoved off of a cliff, for Christ's sake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push you so hard. You're worried about the bird. You are you just almost killed me, and you're worried about the bird. Oh, good lord. It's unheard of. Well, it's heard of now. Yes, it is a problem, considering that the wing ceremony is about to start. Um, you should have believed me, yes. Oh, you're sorry. Okay. But you need to tend to your... Oh. Okay, yeah, don't worry about me. You know, and, and what's the bird so tired from, anyway? What did he do? He just flew down and... He didn't do anything strenuous. Why is it laying there like it's dying? It, it's playing sympathy from Zelda is what it's doing. How did it get so late? Well, we have been talking for a very long time. Um, so we need to see if we can delay the race so we can try and find our bird. That sounds like a plan. Um, oh, and even even Zelda wears the pants within her own family. Okay, that's great. Okay, you will explain the situation and make everything okay. Alright, delay the race for me because I have to find my bird. So, let us do this. We've, the plot has thickened. The plot is so thick. It is thicker than soup. Also, Zelda, anything else? No, you're going to tend to your bird and make sure he's not hurt. Okay, yes, the bird is more important than me. Even though the bird did nothing, and I, however, almost died. That's terrific. Okay. So, yes, the plot has thickened. Our bird is missing. Um, and we must uh, see if we can find out what's going on about that. Um... We're going to have to maybe check around with the local townspeople and see if they know anything about the whereabouts of our bird. How about how about this douchebag? Do I even bother trying? What's the big hurry? What? Your loft wing is missing? Um, but Oh, he just saw him. Bruce's bird was chasing after him. Um, which way? Um, to be honest, I don't really know. You don't know. You are dead to me. Just so you know. Anyone else? How about how about the, the teacher guy? Do you have do you have anything to add? What's wrong? What? Your loft wing is missing? Yes, it is strange and troubling, but um, how will I make it back in time? Well, we're going to delay the ceremony. It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not. You can find your bird. Seriously, dude. Seriously, right now. My bird is missing, and you're cracking wise. Oh dear God! I'm just surrounded by the, the cruelest people people ever. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you. Who are you? 
What do you know? Reveal your secrets. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore. Looking for chivalry. Oh, don't get me started, honey. Do not get me started. Don't even. What? Your loft wing is missing? They all, <laughs> they all say... They all say the same thing. Um, Pippet is the one to ask about birds. Okay, so I'm going to go find Pippet. As for chivalry, all I'm going to say about this is that chivalry may be dead, but not because of men. <laughs> okay, it's not because of us, and I'll leave it at that. Um, Pippet. He was over by the stairs somewhere. Um, that is a bath. Oh, we need to be downstairs. We need to... Well, actually, well as long as we're up here. Um, ooh, Zelda's room. Ooh. Can we go in there and... Can we go sniff her panties and... No? Okay. Oh, well. It's worth a shot. Um, you're an instructor. And that is another instructor. Okay. Back downstairs. Pippet, where are you? I was told that you would have information. You will speak now. I'm not just wandering around. What? Your loft wing is missing? Um... I'm not just wandering around, dude. I'm trying to find my bird. Um, we'll figure this out together. Thank you. I should go to the plaza and ask people there. Okay. Alright, so we finally have someone who's willing to help us, and I need to go to the plaza. Do you know anything? What's wrong? Your loft wing is missing? Okay, stop, Steve. Stop. That's not funny. <laughs> It's just not. Yes, I have. I have talked to the other instructor. Um, he will delay the race for me. Okay, good. I will do just. I will find my bird. Okay. So I need to check the plaza. Um, um, how about how about you, Fledge? You're my friend. You're like the nicest person to me so far. Out of everyone that I've met. What? Your loft wing is missing. God, it's not funny. Um, yeah, it did not come to me. Oh, you know what? What do you, what do you know? No, you know something. Alright. Oh, did, What? Are, are you ready to talk? You should probably tell me. You can't do that! You can't say that you have information and then withhold it. That's like a terrible thing to do to somebody. Be like, oh, I've got something to tell you. Oh, but never mind. That's like the worst thing you could possibly do. Okay. So we've got to go to the plaza. We were told that we might find information there. Um, all these people I'm surrounded by are they're making me so mad. I just want to break pots. I want to break pots and collect rupees. Rupees? There you go. Oh. And, and it's a green one. It's worth a whole whopping one. Thank you, game. Thank you for informing me. And that's all I did. Okay. Oh, and a fiber. Okay, that, that makes me feel better about things. Okay, so we must head for the plaza. And begin searching for our bird. Oh, uh, hey, kid. Oh. Oh, you're stopping me. What? I, I'm on important business. Oh, you want me to dash into a tree? Are you insane? Okay, well you said please. So alright. Oh dear god. That that hurt oh, all the pain. And you get a bug. You get a bug and I get a concussion. Wonderful. That's a fair trade. No. In all seriousness though, if you're ever kinda of like low on rupees, you can like roll into the trees and sometimes they'll they'll, they'll drop some. So Um Okay, this must be the plaza that is in question. Um you, what do you know? Um, yes, the wing ceremony is about to start. I bet one last year, but it was close. Yeah, about my bird. Um, okay, well, at least you weren't a jerk. Um, what else is up here now? Okay, let's just get in the plaza, where we're going to have to be introduced to the worst character to ever be created in a Legend of Zelda game. There are those who will say that they, they like Groose and that he goes on a, 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 
uh, a character arc and, and he becomes a different person, I say bullshit. He is an asshole from beginning to end, and I hate him. Mm. Um, and as we just uh, eavesdropped on him, we overheard that he is in fact responsible for our bird being missing. He has stolen our bird. I've been here long enough to know everything. Oh, why is the camera <laughs> doing like an upskirt shot? <laughs> um, um, I've said it before, I hate bullies. And Groose is a bully, and therefore I hate him. And I cannot stand it when bullies have a change of heart, and now they're good, and now they're the good guy. It's like, no, you, you can't just erase the wrong that you've done. Um, what are you even saying? I'm not even listening to you. What are you saying? How come you don't see my bird? I wonder why, asshole. Because you took him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, ni nice hair. It's actually pretty hideous. <laughs> oh, will you not? You'll flatten me? I don't think so. Um, so he's jealous of the relationship that I have with Zelda. Um, he's apparently got the hots for her, and um, she does not reciprocate. So, um, take that for once. Luigi is the douchebag that gets the girl, you know? That's how this world works. Um, oh. Um, Zelda, hey, we were kind of just talking about you. I think Grease here has got something to say. Oh my god, she like pushed me out of the way. Oh, she's pissed. Although this probably isn't really helping. Having a woman fight your battles for you, probably not the best way to get a bully to back down. Um, I'm not even paying attention to the dialogue here. <laughs> this is horrible. Um, she's basically telling him to leave us alone. Um, and of course he's going to back off because it's Zelda. Yeah, thanks honey. Thanks for fighting my battle for me. Yeah, I hope you find your bird. Yeah, why don't you just tell me what you did with him? Alright, goodbye asshole. I will always hate you. Um, okay, so. The mystery is thickening. We know that Groose did something to our bird. Um... Oh, do you think they're not gonna help us? You're so clever, Zelda. Alright, well, okay, oh, I I'm sorry. You're gonna fly around and look. Thank you. And her father's gonna have the race delayed for me. Okay, so you're not... I'm willing to almost forget about the fact that you tried to kill me. <laughs> Alright, where are we on time here? Okay, we're... Um, we're getting up to like almost 18 minutes. I think it's time to uh, to put an end to this episode. I, I, I feel like I've been very bitter this episode, dear God. Um, anyway, everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I'll see you next time for more of Skyward Sword.